And then Thoreau, well, Thoreau um, was right there in town. They grew up, he was growing up in the same town where uh, Emerson lived. And um, he, um, oh, okay. Emerson's sister-in-law um, came back from, they were from um, Emerson's second wife and his sister-in-law were from Plymouth, they came from Plymouth. And they came back with, um, um, with her, with Lydia, and when she came back to, when she moved to Bush, she came too. But she lived in, um, in she boarded in Henry Thoreau's mother's house. So she had seen some of uh, Thoreau's college work, and she put him in touch with, um, with Emerson. And, and the two of them, um, Hit it off very well. Matter of fact, I, I don't know if I can find a quote cool that quick, but but he he write he wrote in his journal. I must have wrote in his journal that first day that he met him. Um, this young man pleases me well, and they they were mentor and mentoree for um, for most of um, the Rose life after that, and uh, he definitely was a tremendous influence on. Him. The Thoreau Society uh, has a lot of books, and so um, I was able to get a few. But this one was pretty cool. Thoreau, this is something people don't know about Thoreau. Thoreau was absolutely loved of all the children in the town. And um, they, um, they, they adored him. He, he would answer their questions. He would teach them about frogs. And he was always out collecting something. He, he was a botanist, and, um, and so... Um, Children loved him. So when he died, uh, of, he also died of consumption. When he died, um, they closed down the schools that day, and, and they all the children went to, went to church to uh, say goodbye to him. Before he went up into the Author's Bridge and was buried there, and you've seen that. And in my book, there's a picture of the of his um, uh, stone there at the Author's Bridge, and it was it was pencils and and. Did you put something there too when you were there? No, I think so. What did you leave? Yeah, I did. I put a penny. A penny? Oh, okay. Yeah, so. you know, there was pens there, and there was um, a lot of pine cones and stuff that people had kind of looked like. And and I I I couldn't find any. I couldn't hardly find Emerson's uh, grave. It's a very beautiful, huge um, rose quartz stone. That's uh, well, it's not as big as this table, but huge like this, and it came from out in the, the, uh, South Dakota. Um, they, they brought it over and, and put a uh, copper plaque on a brass plaque on the front of it uh, when he died. Um, but there was nothing in front of the rows. And, and I, um, on, the, on the front of my cover, you see it, it's the recommended book. And um, I mean, uh, the person who reviewed my book says that um, everybody who thinks um, thinks Thoreau was kind of a really cool guy. Um, after reading this book, this man said that he realized that Emerson was really pretty cool. And that is really the case. Emerson wasn't the stodgy person that you would think he was at all. He, he was, you know, obviously older than Henry, and Henry was a little bit uh, rebellious and whatever, and Emerson knew better than to rock the system because it was paying his bills. He was getting he was getting three hundred dollars a day to speak. But he was speaking along with people, you know, that were running for office. And um, he was one of the top lecturers in 